I believe it's a very good development. It's good news and will have positive implications across the board, nationally and internationally. But we need still to be vigilant, especially because in the short run, we may actually face a kind of a stepping up uh, some terrorist activities to retaliate. But in the long term, ideologically, mostly thanks to Arab people themselves who, who are moving away from extremism and violence and moving toward pluralism and democracy. And also thanks to more realistic and far-sighted policies in the American administration, we are going to see much more improvement. Also, I think uh, hopefully we are learning many lessons. We can't forget that uh, the U.S. contributed to the creation of bin Laden. Uh, we nourished his type and his ideology when we thought that they can help us to defeat the Soviet Union. So we learn from that that we cannot rely on retrogressive reactionary forces for immediate mm -hmm. uh, you know, political gains. Also, hopefully, this development will uh, speed up the process of bringing home American troops from Afghanistan, because it's going to be harder to justify our military presence in Afghanistan now that uh, bin Laden is gone and Al-Qaeda is much weaker. And also now that we have learned that democracy has to be nourished and built by people themselves. It's a remarkable achievement to have uh, been tenacious and persistent in tracking him down, being patient enough to wait several years for this to come to fruition. That said, uh, there's a couple of questions it raises for me. One of the claims made by the president's detractors is that his administration has been insufficiently transparent in making clear to the American public and the world what its intentions have been, um, what its methodology has been, and I think that, unfortunately, this episode is illustrative of that problem of transparency. One has to ask, why did he have to be killed? Was there any way possible of taking him in custody alive? There's certainly a treasure trove of information that we could have gotten from an interrogation of Osama bin Laden, the mastermind of all that's happened in the last, in more than the last decade or so of terror. Then, of course, there's always the questions as well of his having been apparently located in, a, in his house since 2005, it being 100 meters from the Pakistani uh, military institution. Apparently, this was built on land controlled by the Pakistani authority. Um, he apparently has been specifically located there since August or September of last year. So again, it raises a, a number of questions that uh, seem to me will have to be answered in, in the next few days and weeks.